there's so much talk about transitioning from the collegiate level to the pros and changing the speed. How's the adjustment been so far, catching up to NFL speeds? Uh, it's been really good. You know, fortunately for me, you know, playing in SEC, you know, uh, and, and the speed of the game there definitely prepares you for, for this level. But, of course, you know, it, it's always a little bit faster, but we're better at league, so... You know, it's just, it's just a, it was just a curve that I had to step up to, but, you know, a curve that I was kind of prepared for. A lot of guys are talking about you, saying that you're a very quick learner. You've picked up the system well. Do you get flattered by these compliments? Uh, you know, I try, to, I try to ignore the noise. You know, I just try to ignore the noise. You know, my, my thing is just putting my head down, you know, digging my feet in and, you know, coming to work every day with the same mentality um, to get better each and every day. Well, you certainly impress a lot of people. One of them in particular, Stephen Ross, taking time out on the first day to come over to you and speak to you and compliment you. What was that like for you? I mean, it's, it's tremendous honor, you know, tremendous honor to, you know, the, to first, you know, first get my first opportunity to shake his hand and, you know, uh, really introduce myself face to face, you know, and, you know, be able to, to talk to him and, you know, accept that, that, that comment that he made about me, you know, it, it really says a lot about him and, you know, I'm very honored to be a part of his organization. How important is that as a rookie to make your mark on special teams and get on the field in it by any means necessary? I can't wait. I can't wait. You know, it's, it's one of the things that I thrive on doing at LSU. You know, one of the things that, you know, um, that, that my value stands for, you know, being the, and that comes a part of being selfless, you know, being able to take the field um, no matter where I'm needed, you know, and, and, and produce and, and make plays. Tell me something about Ryan Tannehill's camp that us media members or fans don't necessarily see. The way he's throwing the ball. You know, the way he's throwing the ball and conducting this offense, you know, this new offense for him, you know, and the way he's throwing the ball and conducting this offense, you know, as, as a leader, you know, taking control, pushing the tempo, you know, and he's really becoming a student of the game, you know, far more than I've ever seen any quarterback do. So I'm excited to see how the season plays out. And tell me a little something about you and, and your past. So you were essentially raised by your youth football coach. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, my mom gave up custody of me um, at an early age, and um, you know, from 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 that point on, I was you know with my coach, and you know, guess guess raised up in a more structured you know home, and uh, still in all, I ended up moving back to my mom, <laughs> you know. But it made me who I am today, and I'm I'm grateful for the sacrifice that my mom made in order to see me um, live a little bit better. What are your expectations for 2014? And and can they be tempered? Because I know that you dream big. Yeah. Uh, just, just get on the field any way I can. Any way I can. Uh, you know, you mentioned Brian and Mike. You know, the, those guys do a great job of mentoring me and taking me under their wing. You know, we, we joke around a lot, but at the same time, you know, they, they push me um, just like any other rookie, you know, to, to get better and, and earn my keep. So, you know, for me, it's just being excited about the opportunity and when my numbers call, making plays.